State versus Jeremy Page, possession of methamphetamine, drug paraphernalia, obstructing governmental operations. Your Honor, he's actually here for arraignment. Prior to that, us taking that up, I'd like to inquire of the defendant, please. Sure. Um, sir, you're obviously here for arraignment, which is a first appearance. However, there's been a plea offer made by the state. You understand that I've not done complete discovery, but I have been able to read the affidavit. Are you still comfortable with proceeding with this plea based on what I've just stated? meaning uh, we don't have the crime lab back. We just have the officer's reports as to what the accusations were. Oh, yeah. And so the time stays with what I've already signed for? Oh, yeah, yeah. The plea agreement stays in place. I just want to you to understand that I've not done complete discovery. I've just worked off an affidavit as to what the allegations are. Okay, so, yeah. That's fine. Your Honor, based on what he just stated, we'd like to enter a plea of guilty to the charge. Judge, based on that, we'll not cross uh, the third and fourth charges, the fleeing and the obstructing uh, governmental operations. Those are misdemeanors. He's pleading to felonies. And he's got record of some sort, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm looking at a police statement here. Have you gone over this document? Uh, yes, sir. Do you feel you understand the matter set out in the police statement? For the most part. Okay. What don't you understand? Uh, I think the only thing he had a question of it ran concurrent with right. the time that he already has signed on for parole. I've explained to him in Arkansas, unless it says consecutive, uh, it's a given by statute that things run by uh, run concurrently. Right, right. That's that was my only concern. Now, how, they, how they would treat you at the penitentiary, I don't know. But if I sentenced you, it would be concurrent with other time. Right. Okay. Okay. With that, you feel you understand what's in the police statement? Yes, sir. You understand the charges against you and the range of penalties if you're convicted? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Are you pleading guilty to possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia? Yes, sir. You give up your right to have a trial and you cannot appeal when you plead guilty. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. Have you been pressured or coerced in any manner in order to get you to change your plea? No, sir. Have you been promised anything other than what's in the police statement? No, sir. And are you pleading guilty because you're in fact guilty? Yes, sir. The owner about uh, July 27th here in uh, Baxter County, were you in possession of some methamphetamine and some drug paraphernalia? Uh, I think it was the 25th. Okay. I thought, yeah, because I was already, I was already uh, in the county jail on the 27th on my okay. daughter's birthday. All right. But you were in possession of methamphetamine? Yes, sir. Okay. This time, sir, I'll accept your plea and a judge you guilty on each uh, count. You'll be uh, sentenced to three years in Department of Correction. Those will run concurrent. You'll uh, pay $200 in cost, be fined $1,000, pay a $200 public defender fee, a DNA fee of $250, a $20 booking fee, a drug crime assessment of $125, pay what you owe at the rate of $100 per month, beginning within 60 days after your release from incarceration, you make payments to the Sheriff's Department here in Baxter County. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, is there? State versus Danny Sturgis, 14-111, theft, <coughs> breaking or entering, 13-47, theft by receiving, often VIN numbers. Your Honor, I'm standing in for Mr. Gibson on these matters. Okay. There's no action to be taken today. We just ask to stay on our current scheduling order. Okay. Very well. We Thank may, you. We may be excused. Thank yes. you, Judge. State versus Adam Webb, 14183, forgery in the second degree. Your Honor, Your Honor showing it's a reappearance. This is Mr. Bailey's case. I'm going to ask that be recalled after the break, so I can visit with Mr. Kincaid to see if it can be resolved today. Very well. We'll recall the case. 12-100, State versus Tyler Garris. It was originally a methamphetamine case. Got it set for hearing next week. It looks like it's over. I'm not sure the judge is going to be here until the 28th. Oh, is that right? Well, I've been... Uh, mm. I've been having people August 14th State versus Jeremy Witt conspiracy to obtain a controlled substance by fraud 
maintaining a controlled substance by fraud. 11277. Set for hearing today on a petition to revoke. General, I think there's going to be a drug court offer. Yeah, we should leave that file out to determine the judge. Okay. He has to be arrested. 